Alright guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about why Justice League was destined to fail. Now, there's multiple key factors on why Justice League didn't live up to its expectations. The first and the most logical reason was the fact that every single little detail was rushed. You see, when the Avengers came out, there was already four movies by four of the most important characters in the Avengers. But the Justice League just kind of threw Batman into the arena with his tidy whiteies. If DC would have waited till 2024, we would have already had Batman, Superman, and Flash movies. But I will admit, at that time, the fans were being pretty fucking annoying. That still didn't give them a right to release the movie, though. Especially if they were planning on creating a franchise out of this. And that leads me to my next factor. <laughs> It was rushed. The only characters that were mentioned at this point were Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, the three canonical characters in DC. All of a sudden came Aquaman and The Flash, and we can't forget Cyborg. All of these characters just came out of thin air, with no mention or previous introduction. Especially this dude. Call me crazy, but The Flash is one of the most important characters in all of comics. He should have already had an introduction, but I'm not complaining. Another thing that was rushed was the story in general. You see, Batman was already 20 years into his career at this point, which is pretty fucking crazy. At this point, Batman would have to be friends with all of Gotham, or at least have a respectful relationship with Gotham. Which in Batman v Superman, he doesn't seem to have a friendship with Gotham. I mean, the police were literally shooting at him. This obviously makes no sense because Gotham's been being helped by Batman, and it has been like that since, well, 1999 apparently. The main concept of the story just kind of felt rushed, and the reason behind that is pretty simple. And that leads us to our rogue characters category. Is this guy still bothering you? Steppenwolf was a fucking embarrassment. I mean, the guy seemed like he could be beaten by Wonder Woman, but instead it took the entire Justice League. And since Superman died in Batman v Superman, it's just Aquaman, The Flash, Batman, and Wonder Woman facing off a literal god. And how strong Steppenwolf is has never been explained. But to be the main villain of the Justice League would mean you're pretty fucking powerful, right? I think one of the big reasons why people did not like Justice League was because the main villain was a literal irrelevant motherfucker. I do understand that he works for Darkseid, but who the fuck is Steppenwolf? Personally, I did like how the John Sweden Steppenwolf looked. Like, honestly, I did. And uh, I preferred this Steppenwolf over the previous Steppenwolf. That's just complete honesty. <laughs> 